Hello, guys. Lady, welcome back to audiobook chapter thirty-one, the B and I triangle. The key to create well, we that call the following diagram: the B and I triangle. The key to create well. The B and I triangle was very important to read that because it gave gave structure to his ideas. As he often said, there are many people with great ideas, but few people with great fortunes. The BNI triangle has the power to turn ordinary ideas into great fortunes. The BNI triangle is the guide to taking an idea and creating an asset. It represents the knowledge required to be successful on the BNI side of the cash flow quadrant. I have modified it a little over the years. I was about 15 years old when I first saw this diagram. Read that through it for me when I started asking him the following question. Question number one: How it is that you have so many businesses and other people can barely handle one? Question number two: Why do your businesses grow while other people businesses stay small? Question number three: How do you have free time when other business owners work constantly? Number four, why do so many businesses start and then fail so quickly? I did not ask him all the question at the same time. Yet there were questions that came to mind. Ah, I started his businesses. Read that. Was about forty years old, and I was amazed at how he could run several different companies, all in different industries. For example, he had a restaurant business, a fast food business, a convenience store chain, a drug king company, a real estate construction business, and a property management business. I knew he was following his plan to have his business by his two investments, which for him was real estate. But it was amazing how many businesses he could run all at. The same time, when I asked him how he could start, own, and many so many businesses, he responded, "Work to draw B and I quad triangle." Today, I own interest in several different companies, in completely different businesses because I use the B and I triangle as a guide. I did not own as many company as we did, did but by following the same formula. Online in the BNI triangle, I could own more if I wanted to. Exploring the BNI triangle, obviously the amount of material that could be written and needs to be written to cover the information represented by the BNI triangle is more than this book could cover. However, he will we will review the basic mission. Read that said. A business need both spiritual and a business mission to be successful, especially at the beginning. When he explained this diagram to his son and me, he always began with the mission, since he thought it to be the most important aspect of the triangle. We why it was at the best. If the mission is clear and strong, the business will weather the trials. Every business goes through during its first ten years. When the business get big, and it forget its mission, or the mission it was created for is no longer needed, the business begin to die. Read that those the word, choose the word spiritual and business. He said, many people start a business only to make money, just to make money is not a strong enough mission. Money alone does not provide enough fire, try or desire. The mission of business should feel a need that the customer want, and if it feels that need and feel it well, the business will begin to make money. So this is、um, diagram about mission. Okay, when it came to the spiritual component of the mission, we just said Henry Ford was a man driven. By a spiritual goal first, and a business goal second. He wanted to make automobile available to the masses. 
not just the rich. That is why mission statement were democratize the automobile when the spiritual mission and business mission are brought strong in the line. The combined power builds two businesses. Read that spiritual mission and business mission were closely in line. His spiritual mission was to provide job and opportunity for many of the poor people to whom he served food in his restaurant. With that thought, the mission of business was very important, although it was hard to see and to measure. He said, without a strong mission, the business is not likely to survive the first five to ten years. He also said, at the first of our business, the mission and entrepreneur spirit are essential for business to survive. The spirit and the mission must be preserved long after entrepreneur is gone and the business will die. The mission of business is a reflection of spirit of entrepreneur. General Electric was a company founded from brilliant Thomas Edison and it has grown by preserving the spirit of great investor by continuing to invest new and innovative product. Ford Motor Company has survived by continuing in the tradition of Henry Ford. Today I believe that Bill Gates spirit continued to try Microsoft to dominate the world of software. By contrast, when Steve Jobs was pushed out of Apple and management team from traditional corporate were replaced. Him, the company went downhill rapidly as soon as Jobs were brought back to Apple and the spirit the speed of the company rebounded. New product came forth, profitably increased, and the share price went up. Although the mission of business is hard to measure, impossible to see, and for all practical purposes, an intangible more have experienced. We can identify the mission of someone who is trying only to sell us something for a mission just as easily as we can tell when someone is trying to help meet our needs and the world becomes crowded with more and more products. The businesses that survive and do well financially will be businesses that focus on serving and fulfilling the company's spiritual mission. The customer need rather than just increasing the company revenues. Read that company, the company that Kim and I created had the following mission to involve, to elevate the financial well being of humanity by being clear and true to the true spiritual business mission of the company. We have enjoyed great success by being clear on our mission. We attract individual and other group alive with a similar mission. Some people call it luck. I call it being true to our mission. Over the years, I have come to believe that with that were right about the importance of having the spiritual mission and business mission be strong and in line. In fact, it one single two front mission in all truthfulness. Not all of my businesses have as strong a dual mission as the read that company does. Other businesses in which I own and trade have stronger business mission than spiritual mission. I now realize that my nylon and velcro wallet business had a very different mission than I first thought. The mission for building that business was to give me a fast education about building a worldwide business. That business fulfilled that mission rather painfully. In other words, I got what I wanted. The business grew very quickly, successful, fast, and serious, and so were the class. Yet a painful other experience was I realized that I had achieved my mission after I dug myself out from under the rubble, rebuilt the business and learned what I set out to learn. As we that said, many entrepreneurs don't really become business people until after they lose their first business. In other words, I learned more by losing the business and rebuilding it than I did my by being successful. As Reed Dad said, school is important, but the street is better teacher. My first big business venture after leaving the Marine Corps 
was expensive and painful, but the lesson I learned was priceless. The business had fulfilled its mission, entrepreneur spirit. The company mission helped it maintain focus in the early stages of development. Many factors can cause destruction. The best way to get back on track is to revisit the mission. Thus, the destruction affects the achievement of your mission. If so, you must deal with the destruction as quickly as possible so that you can refocus your effort on the overall mission. Today, I know that many people becoming instant millionaires, even billionaires, just by taking a company public through an IPO. I often wonder if the company mission was just to make money for owners or investors, or whether the company was really formed to fulfill a mission or some kind of service. I, I am afraid that many of these new IPO will ultimately fail because their only mission is to make money quickly. Besides, it is the mission of the company that the entrepreneur spirit is found. Tim, read that. Always said business is a team sport. He went on saying investing is a team sport. He would also say the problem with being in the E and the X quarter we start. An individual play game against a team. Okay, so team and mission. Read that. Would draw the cash flow quarter to illustrate this point. Okay, so this is um, the diagram. You know, tell you about the four quarter of kind of people. Refer to the first one. E refer to solo player. So solo player refer to E and S. E E employee. A refer to self employed, and team player refer to quarter B and quarter I business big business owner or investor. Okay. One of read that strongest criticism of educational system was in school the trained student to take tests on their own if a child attempt to cooperate. At this time, at test time it called cheating. In the real world of business, business owner cooperate. At test time and in the world of business, every day test time. Okay, guys, ladies, thank you so much for your listening to the audio book. See you next audio. Thank you, and don't forget to subscribe in order to get more video easily.